What's up everybody, this is Mavericks89, and this is an instructional video here on grid this time. I usually go up the center, I'm a very offensive person, and I uh, throw a stun grenade if I see that I got a hit, I'll go back and uh, finish off the kill. It's very interesting right here, so me, I'm on the bottom while We've the rest of my teammates are on the top in that building. It's a good strategy to have because a lot of people like to go inside the building and the control of the map is inside that big building. And uh, if I die, it doesn't really matter. Someone can actually go downstairs and just finish off whoever I was, uh, whoever I got killed by. Our spy plane so right now I'm just being frustrated, trying to find some kills, and I get two kills right there, so I'm a little bit more relaxed. Uh, I like to run around and kill people, not like um, spy plane um, ready for that deployment. guy that just fucking was camping there, waiting in a corner. So, in these type of games, when I have the majority, when the majority of my team are my teammates, I'd like, I trust them. I trust them to kill people, I trust them to finish their kills, not let, leave people on second, uh, second chance and shit like that. I almost got killed here. But yeah, that, that guy was there, my teammate was there, and if I died, then he would have been able to finish the kill. It's really important to cover your your teammates' backs. If they get killed, you have to finish the kill. Don't let them get their kill streaks. Enemy down. Even if it means that you get killed yourself. And um, I'm right now I'm using FAMAS. It's because I just wanted to see whether or not w uh, I had a better kill to death ratio with FAMAS. And uh, I usually Stick play the Galil, so quite new at. Uh, Moss. So like I said, that this Changing middle back. building right here is the center of control. There's four entrances, and if Our your teammates in are constantly in there, then you can have it locked down secure. This place is actually really a really good place to be when the by. other team is spawning on that corner. Uh, you have this, all this coverage, and you're shooting down, so then they have to aim up, which not a lot of people will do. And I have Kill Flak confirmed. Jacket and Tactical Mass Pro, so whatever they throw at me, it's not going to affect me, really. And I made a stupid mistake here. I thought that the person behind me was, was able to finish off that kill. And spy plane ready for deployment. It, but I got a stupid noob death over there. Friendly spy plane inbound. Enemy contact. I find that it's really important to use your flashbangs and your, or your stun grenades. It gives you like a really large upper Five hand when you're facing Confirm. someone one on one. That's mostly why I use Tactical Mass Pro. It's because when people throw their we'll flash to victory, or don't stun quit grenades, now. I <coughs> I tend to fuck them over with uh, with Tactical Mass Pro. So in here, I had to choose my, my opponent wisely. And thank God my teammate was there to back me up. But I backed out, as you can see, um, away from the other fire of the other enemy. And I just finished off that primary kill. And I might have gotten killed if my teammate wasn't there. And shooting this canister is actually really good. You know, have people hide behind the canisters or whatever you can see their head. Shooting the canister is very effective as everyone knows. Ready for deployment. And that's the end of the game. Thanks.